uh, bait lane. G'day, it's Sam and Kev here, and welcome to uh, this video's adventure. Today we're up in Marlborough in the uh, Blairwich Conservation Area down the Awateri Valley. The cicadas are out in force. Yeah, so we've been already walking in about an hour, uh, just up a, an initial track before we're going to make the, the first turn off up onto the Blairwich Ridge. So we're going to head on up there. Uh, that'll take us most of the day to go across that ridge and we'll make our way back down to Black Birch Bivy or somewhere in that area. We've bought our tents and we're just going to see where the day takes us. So let's see how it goes. Three things I've noticed so far on this trip. One, water is going to be absolutely crucial. There's very few places to get it, and I think once we're up on the ridge, there'll be none for most of the day, so it could be one of those days. Two, there are lots of cicadas. Obviously it's that time of year where they've uh, shed their shells, and they're just flying everywhere, just heaps of them. And three, it is absolutely stifling hot today, so uh, I've made the sensible decision to wear a black t-shirt. Not that sensible. So, as with these things, I'm always learning. Right, we're about three hours in. We're up to about 950 metres. I think we started about 200, but it continues to be hot. With the added complication, it's incredibly windy, so that dries us out a bit more. So, um, we're still on the farmer's track in private land, but I think we've got maybe another 100 metres vertical to climb and we get back into Dockland, so we'll keep on going. Okay, we're about three and a half hours in. Very, very hot and windy still, hence the map is on backwards. Keeps us uh, making his way up the hill here. Very, very steep as well, current, uh, but we're heading on up. My cap's on backwards, so I'm a little bit more gangster. Nothing to do with the wind. She's pretty dry and we're a bit dehydrated, but if we look down here in the grass, there's a number of these little snowberries which uh, at least provide some source of moisture. So the track we're heading up has now got into um, Dockland. It's not marked in our topo maps, but basically goes straight up the ridge line. So we're hoping it goes all the way up to the top to Blair Ridge and uh, that'll make life a bit, a bit easier but we're now starting to get spectacular views down towards the vineyards at the lower end of the Alatiri Valley and also out to Lake Grasmere where Warren and I finished our tramp as we came round past Cape Campbell Right, uh, so we've been going for about oh, just on six hours and we've climbed about 1200 metres. Very, very hot day, as we've already pointed out. Um, very, very dry and, and a big lack of water up here. So that's actually been the biggest issue. Uh, we've been rationing our water, um, but even that hasn't really been enough. So it is a bit of a, not a desperate situation, but not a great situation. So we're going to, um, we're almost at the top, uh, but once we get there, we really are going to move and try and get down to the bottom as quickly as possible. Try and find some water and then we'll set up camp there. The trick looks like it's had better days, but uh, fantastic to be here. Sam, did you enjoy that climb? Tough day at the office for Sam and Kev's outdoor adventures. One of the toughest, I'd say, just because of the lack of water. I can't wait to get moving, I just want to get down and find water. Not the same. We've got to go up and over that hill to the 
the uh, bait lane. That's where we've come down from. Nearly there, finding the crab. So we're seven and a half hours in. We've got just under a K to go, so um, we're pretty pleased to get there. We're hoping the uh, hut's got a tank and it's got some water in it because uh, oh, we're very thirsty. So um, off we go. Haven't had too much video, sorry on this bit, because uh, we've been a bit tired. Yes, welcome back to uh, the suffering, as I call it, on this trip. Uh, just dying of thirst. Um, and I guess I shouldn't laugh because it's not funny, it's actually quite serious. Um, but we know kind of where we're at and we know what we've got to do to, to get to what we think is the closest water source. Unfortunately it is going over this. But we think that's the last thing we've got to do and then it's a downward sidle until the water tank. So we're going to get on and do that as quickly as possible but also as slowly as possible because we're tired. Just down there in the distance is Black Birch Biff. Boy oh boy is that a welcome sight. Coming up on Black Birch Biv and it's got a water tank which is what I want to see. Alrighty, Black Birch Biv. Have a quick look. So it's a very interesting hut in that it's got this big step up to another level. <laughs> So it's obviously built in two parts, historically, or been built like this for some reason. But anyway, two bunks. And very clean and tidy, actually. Very hot in here, because it's been a very hot day. So uh, I don't think Kevin and I are going to stay here, though. I think we're going to go in tent somewhere. So we're heading off now for, uh, for day two. Uh, it's a lot more overcast than we're fully hydrated so uh, hopefully a lot less complaining today we are visited in the night by a possum and um, whereas I stayed in the hut Sam branched out braved the possum outside in his tent so about four hours now to get back to the car park we go down and uh, to the Birch River and then into the Awatiri Valley Righty, eh? so uh, we are on our way down, uh, we've been going for about half an hour and we've already dropped about 250 metres vertically. It's actually quite steep and slippery uh, this bit um, and you probably struggle to see it on the camera but just kind of roughly where I'm pointing, the hut is up there, you can maybe just make it out. Um, so yeah, we've come quite a wee way already. brings an end to our tramp up the Blair Ridge Ridge out via Black Birch Biv and the Birch River. It's been a uh, interesting couple of days probably our big learning experiences uh, make sure we take a little bit more water but um, hope you enjoyed the vid and um, hopefully Sam and I will see you when you're out tramping next. <laughs>